Hey, Stefan. Um, in regards to democracy, I, you know, I think firstly you you kind of misuse the word work. That you say democracy doesn't work. I mean, work itself is just a, a word that science uses to explain energy production. So it does work. It just maybe doesn't work the way you want it to work. And also, I think you're identifying the American Republic as a democracy, which it's not. The idea of a direct democracy where every person has the opportunity to vote on their idea is a lot more effective than a representation system. I think if you're going to have someone make a decision for you, then that's a flawed system. So republics don't work. There I go. You saying the same thing, you know, doesn't work. Doesn't work well. Um, but you also got to think rel relatively. Well, you don't have to, but I'm going to think relatively for a second compared to like a monarchy or a dictatorship. Maybe more efficient in some ways because, like you said, one guy can put $2 billion wherever he wants very quickly. But obviously, a system like that is more flawed because less people are going to have their interests met. So the idea is that you want to have as many people's interests met as possible. And stepping outside the box, like Chris Hadfield, the Canadian ast astronaut, he's a colonel, was on the Inter International Space Station, he would look down at the planet and see like above Mexico City the pollution and see the lake uh, the, the fourth largest lake in the world dry up to a sliver over like 20 year period. So to get out of the human mentality and look at the planet as an ecosystem, I think you can be a little more objective about what needs to be done. Um, to say that people can't think objectively is defeatist, although of course there is no true objectivity and by that rationale, there probably is no true subjectivity. Uh, I think that you can be fairly objective to a point where you can even say, I'm thinking objectively. I mean, if you ever meditate, you get outside yourself. Your body, you know, and your wants and your needs are not available. It has nothing to do with that stuff. Your, the energy field of the earth and the solar system and, and so on transcends eating a sandwich. Um, and we need clean air. If you want to talk about things that people objectively need, clean air, oxygen, clean water. These things have to happen. So I think that a democracy is a more viable form of government to accomplish that sort of thing. Because it's easier to convince 60 million people of something than to convince one person. That maybe seems like blatantly backwards, but the will of the masses tends towards the survival of the race more than the will of one, I believe. I would like to try a new form of democracy where we vote online, publicly, dismantle the republic. We don't need representatives anymore because we, we don't communicate by Morse code and telegraph and it doesn't take 16 hours to get a message somewhere. Um, I think that if... Personally, I think that if we build a system like... I, Elon Musk, I think, has a, has a nice perspective of things. If we build an infrastructure, physical infrastructure, it trumps the politics. You don't need money when you have enough food, water, electricity, and technology, transportation, uh, communication. What else would you ever need money for at that point? You don't need, I mean, we only created money to get us to a point that we wouldn't need for And I do believe that technology is getting there with fusion reactors, solar power. Um, I mean, 
teleportation in a sense. We're able to entangle molecules and move one over here and the one over here also moves. Um, so I don't disagree with you. Well, actually, I do disagree with the extreme statement, although I acknowledge that making an extreme statement is part of what generates the controversy, the attention that you need. I wouldn't even be, I would probably wouldn't even watch this video if it didn't have that extreme title. I do think that democracy works, and I think it works better than any other form of government I've ever experienced, any other way of communicating with a group. I think, a, a, actually I was thinking the other night, I would like to become president and disband the presidency and say that now there's 12 people in a council that run the country. But then I started thinking all these things like, well one, what if we wanted to have a, a, a communication with the Russian government, you know, Vladimir Putin, and there were 12 of us in a room with him, and he wants to do it? How do we make a decision? How, what if we need to make a decision right now? We have 10 minutes to make a decision. Can those 12 people accomplish it? Or are we better off putting a chairman of those 12 people to make the final decision? Or should we make it 15 people and they take a vote? At that point, you're still, you still have a representative government. And I don't think there's really self-governance is anarchy. And that's not a bad thing, necessarily. It's never, I don't think it's ever, it's yet to be proven functional as a whole form on the planet Earth for humans in modern times, recorded history. But not impossible. You could say nothing's impossible. I try not to use too many double negatives. Everything's possible. Um, but realistically, sometimes the technology needs to catch up to the consciousness. Good talking to you, man.